guys and those who are interested in the V10F from Intimotion. Um, I just got mine in last night and uh, I thought I would give a quick review and, and thoughts on it. Um, this particular wheel uh, came in last night. I got a night ride and a ride today. About nine miles on it so far. But before I bought it, I demoed it on a rainy day thanks to Michael Vu and uh, Electric Glide for about 90 minutes all through Austin and the trails and what have you. And that's when I knew I actually wanted to buy it and order it. Um, so, spoiler alert, I like this wheel a lot. Uh, sorry, that was my phone going off. Um, to understand what I like about this wheel, I thought I would put next to it my other wheel, which I've had for a couple of months and I really love. It's my favorite wheel so far of all the ones I've tried. It was the Gotway M10-3, um, 800 watt motor, 500 watt battery, 10 inch wheel. Super agile. Um, just really love the heck out of that. Although it's not a high speed cruiser, it's not something you want to take for a lot of distance because that wheel does start to, to squirm and wobble on you on the streets because uh, it's so small. But you can throw it in the trunk and you can use it for festivals and things and it's, it's not intimidating at all, right? Um, <coughs> other things you should know about me that matter here a lot. And I'll get to why the shoes are on there. I'm six foot one, uh, 210 pounds naked, 223 pounds with full uh, gear and payload on, um, size 12 feet. And so you can see those, those hiking boots, which I tend to use lined up on the pedals there um, because I want to talk about foot fatigue, right? Uh, I got those because they have a shank in them and that helps with it. But you can see how much of your foot potentially hangs off. Um, not that you'd position it that way while you're riding on the uh, the gotway or the in motion, but to to show you how much larger the pedals are, I thought it was an interesting way to put it next to, because um, I do get tired on the on the pedals, um, and I suspect a lot of you do too. So those large pedals really drew me. Um, also worth saying is not only are they long pedals, but they're wide pedals, and that's interesting for another reason, which is that you can widen your stance if you want to and really uh, get a lot more leverage to kind of lean into the turns and what have you. I was playing here in my garage, which is a two-car garage, and a little less space than that because it's got stuff on either side. And really just able to, to ride it around very comfortably inside this without like banging into things and having to stop every few seconds. Just figure eights and, and the like. It's very, very agile. I have not once scraped the pedals on this and or my feet, uh, which is important to me. <laughs> because I hate uh, brushing my feet against the ground and my pedals likewise, and I do scrape them on that little M10 uh, when I'm turning. And I can, I can do a 720 on that M10 with, uh, on the size of a quarter, so it gives you an idea of how hard I'm turning. So the pedal height, the pedal width, and the pedal length, outstanding, outstanding features, and probably the number one reason why I was drawn to this wheel and went for it. Um, the number two thing kind of surprised me that I liked about this, and that is this cutoff button here on the uh, the handle. Um, being able to pick up the wheel and have it stop to go up the stairs and things, really wonderful. But just as interesting to me is uh, when I go to wipe out, and I was doing certainly a lot of that in the rain, um, I could grab it there and the wheel would cut out because I had grabbed it and it didn't yank the wheel out of my shoulder, or the, my arm out of my shoulder, right? It didn't torque and go and what have you. And with a 2000 watt motor like this, you can expect a lot of bad things otherwise. Now, when I wasn't able to grab it and I wiped out um, a couple of times, I got two different results and I don't know why that is. Most of the time, the wheel stopped spinning instantly. It hit that 55 degree incline and cut off as designed. But once it didn't, um, and it spun all the way up and then it cut itself off and, and kind of beeped when we had to reset it. So I'm not sure what the difference was there. But um, perhaps, uh, you know, accelerometers get stuck or the humidity or who, who knows. Uh, the other thing I'm going to say about these, uh, the pedals, I'm out, of, out of order and I apologize for that, is because they are so large and they're raised up, I think that you have to put more weight into it um, in order to get it to go faster or to get it to slow down and stop uh, than the previous uh, wheel. Um, obviously, 16-inch king songs and what have you. Uh, I've ridden those. I learned on the uh, on the 14 and the 16. People loaned it to me. I've ridden the Monster. I've ridden um, yeah, 18, 22 inch wheels, no problem. Uh, even though I'm a new rider, I, I have a lot of friends who have loaned me wheels and taken me on the trails, and especially Michael, who I want to thanks once more. 
but these pedals are so high, I think that you lose a little bit of the leverage off of the axis of the axle. Um, and so you really have to put more weight forward or more weight back to make it perform the same kind of way. Now it may also be that I'm just coming from a 10 inch wheel and so I'm expecting more of it. But I can get this to perform like the M10 if I really am aggressive on my weight swings. So once you know about it, that's a good thing. Um, I did change the settings in the app from the default 4696 uh, down the other way. Turns out that makes it a little bit more springy and playful. Um, it's a good feel. So you have your choice on how you're, how you're riding styles. I guess it's by slider. Probably worth saying. Um, the ride on this. Super smooth, never once found underpowered. The hills outside uh, my house are uh, anywhere from 25 to 30 degrees. Um, I live in the hilly section of Austin, Texas. It's 95 degrees today. This thing carried my rather large frame up and down those hills. No problem, never hesitated, never stuttered, never overheated. Um, it was great. Uh, I will tell you that I have overheated a King Sun on those hills. So. Um, I don't mean to keep ripping on them. I really thought when I got into ECUs that King Song was going to be my brand because of the safety record and what have you. Um, and it just feels like driving a Toyota Corolla, if you know what I mean. Um, and I'm, I'm not a Toyota Corolla kind of guy. I, I prefer a little bit more sportiness. So um, this gives it to me. The, this feels like an old scale-up version of the M10. And I think as soon as I'm used to the weight and the size and surprisingly the uh, the pad banging into my knees, uh, which it does because it's a very tall uh, motor, you know, it's it's going to perform very similarly and very wonderfully, although I don't think I'll throw it in the trunk and take it to festivals the way I do the M10. Um, I'll probably use it for more conventional cruising because that's what it's designed for. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about the, the headlight and the tail light. The headlight I took last night on a ride on the darkened streets, it was more than adequate. It was great. Uh, other people can show you the videos on that, but it really puts out a lot of light and it puts out the light in the right space. Kudos to that. I don't have to strap a flashlight on anymore and I love that. Um, the tail light is also super bright, so much so that I had to turn it facing away from the Gotway because uh, it was reflecting off the Gotway and kind of burning out the camera. Um, so. And it flashes and does things when you're going to stop and what have you. It's very, very visible. So are the LEDs on the side, which are programmable. Um, you can turn those on, you can turn those off. I haven't really decided what I like yet or not. Speakers are also very good. Um, used those, had no problem hearing uh, my music as I was driving at, you know, 30% volume or thereabouts, uh, even with wind noise. The warning and the alarms, <laughs> super loud kind of hard to miss them. you got to though, I guess if you're going that fast, you have a wind noise. One thing that I'm not really uh, fond of in the fit and finish is the, the handle. <coughs> it's a little jiggly. So, you can see when I lift it up, it's a little loose, but it turns out in practice, that actually doesn't matter. Um, at least not so far than what I've used it on. Uh, so, while I would like it to be tighter and feel like it was uh, properly machined, Eh, really doesn't matter. Um, it, it works as designed and I had plenty of control and it's a good height for my six foot one frame. So, uh, kind of love it. Uh, those are the thoughts. Um, it was enough for me to, to buy it. Um, and, you know, that's saying something because I'm kind of kind of tight with my money some days. Uh, things have to perform for me to do it. Um, just checking my notes. One other thing I'll add here about the rubber soles. Uh, yes, in the rain, um, if you get stuff on there, for example, wet gravel in between these boots, what have you, I was having a little friction problem. And I think I might prefer the, uh, the grip tape. I don't know if I'll put it there or not because, frankly, I don't go riding in the rain a whole lot intentionally. Um, and once you know that uh, putting things in between there is important to kind of brush off, you, you stamp your foot before you step on, it's not a problem then. But uh, again, it's just, you know, it's something to get aware of. Uh, also, with respect to the rain, um, and I don't know because I haven't ridden a lot of large wheels in the rain. I took this across some golf grass. It was kind of waterlogged. It did feel like it was hydroplaning. Uh, might be because of the large tire, might just because it's an ECU and I was going fast. Um, take it for a grain of salt. I've got nothing to compare it to. But I do love that larger wheel. Um, and like I said, I don't tend to go for the, <laughs> the rain very often. Um, the app is is pretty good. It's better than the other apps out there. Let me say that for, for certain. Uh, the Gotway app, um, which has been out a long time, just kind of sucks. 
Uh, the InMotion one is very good, although they're still working on a, a few of the kinks. I had some problems signing them last night and getting it working, but I did get it working. And once I did it, it worked beautifully. Um, it's well behaved, and I have high hopes that they'll continue developing it and, and get it out in my Apple Watch. It only works on, on the Apple phone I have, not my watch yet, but the music I can still control through my watch, which is nice when I'm driving. Um, the Bluetooth link is very, very good. Uh, it actually, I left this playing music while I went upstairs to go get my notes. It reached no problem. Um, so two-story house <laughs> through the garage and the walls and what have you. Uh, I'm impressed. It didn't lose connection at any time while I was riding it. Uh, like I said, I was riding it for about 50 minutes today. Uh, so that's all good. Now, if you made it this far, uh, kudos. I've been rambling, and I, I hope that it was useful to you. Um, the last note I'm going to add is really about the width of this thing. It's a very, very narrow wheel, which is another reason I happen to pound it. Uh, you can see the width as compared to the Gotway, and that is surprisingly important. Uh, for, for agility, I think, and for comfort. Because as you're riding this thing, you, know, you can hear the button going off as I put it positive. <laughs> uh, it gives you a choice on stances, and you, know, you don't have to ride it bow legged and what have you. I almost forgot that, but I, I really do like it, and I think it is it's subtle but worth mentioning. Uh, bonus section I'm going to cover just a couple of pieces of safety gear I discovered, or other pieces of gear that I happen to love. Uh, so tune out if you're if you're down at the V10 and if you want information. These are the the D3O uh, ankle guards. Um, I love them because those pedals bite me whenever I screw up on the Gatway, and on other ones as well, even with the hiking boots. But the D3O material that they have here uh, absorbs impact and, and turns super solid and hard. But the rest of the time, it's very very flexible. I think they were like 20 bucks and. Um, they're great. Uh, next up, I'm going to talk about the Bell helmet. Um, this particular model is convertible. Uh, oh, not in the camera face, not on the chest. But you can actually uh, change it from a full face helmet to a half helmet, uh, snapping it on and off. It works really, really well. Uh, also, very fond of this particular mirror. I'll try to put the links in Amazon for, for these things. But if you're riding this fast, you want some protection. Um, when I don't want that protection, I use this one. The main difference is really that the sunglasses go on and off much, much easier on this one than on this one because this one has some ear protection because it's a downhill helmet. Uh, uh, this little beauty you guys hopefully recognize is for charging. It takes it anywhere from 70 to 100 percent of the charge and allows you to double up is for the Gotway. I hope he makes one for the Emotion. But uh, lithium batteries, you don't want to store it full charge. So lithium ion batteries. <coughs> and of course, charging them up all the way uh, causes them to start to deteriorate. So if you're not going to ride it immediately, you don't necessarily want to put that there. Um, found this in the bike shop, local bike shop, for uh, holding things. It's a spilt um, inside of here. I hold uh, my pump, my tire pump. This one will go up to 120 pounds. It's very, very good. It's a Dokken. Um, I pump that little wheel no problem. It has a gauge on it uh, that I can hit. It, uh, it screws on and it's flexible. And it's tiny and light, so kind of worth grabbing. Then the last gear shout out is to the, uh, the D3O Flex Meter Demon wrist guards. These are made of that same D3O material and they have a skid pad made of hard plastic here also. Um, I have retrofitted them with another mirror which I just slid underneath um, for visibility. These guys are so damn good I can't tell you. Um, I had a set of a triple eights and a few other ones and the fall and impact, yeah, my wrists were fine but there was still some pain there and what have you. Uh, on these things I've wiped out at 20 miles an hour on that damn Kingston I was learning on. No pain at all. Let's get up and keep going. Uh, well, well worth the money. Uh, I can't recommend them enough. So, um, that's it. Hope it was helpful to those of you trying to decide. Um, last thoughts, I guess. Really, the thickness and the pedal height, um, plus a, a very powerful motor to go up and down those hills. Uh, really, a set of modern safety features. It's an all-around good wheel. I like it, and uh, I put my money behind it. 
hope you guys uh, enjoy your ride.